Y'all guess what? We're going on a date! First plan of attack is we have to do our makeup. I've already skin prepped, so now we're just going to put the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer on and then we'll start the makeup. We're just gonna do my everyday makeup look, which is literally a full face of makeup. <laughs> it's okay, we need to look our best. Y'all saw the title, right? We're going on a date and it's not even a regular date, it's a surprise date. In my 20 years of living, I have never been on a surprise date, so this is my first ever one. Yeah, a guy planning a surprise date and saying, I'm gonna pick you up at 4.30 is really nice and all, you know? I definitely have some butterflies in my stomach. I'm literally so stressed about picking out an outfit. You guys have no idea. So that's why we're starting with makeup first so we can figure out the outfit later on. It is currently 3.29 right now, and he said he's gonna be picking me up at 4.30. So I have exactly an hour to fully be ready and out the door when he comes and picks me up. I'm acting like a little girl right now. I'm so excited. I genuinely have no idea of what I'm gonna be doing tonight, which is like the fun part about surprise dates It's honestly such a good feeling when you know a guy can actually plan a date and they don't need your help And they can do it all on their own like that is truly like one of the best feelings ever this morning I did take a everything shower. So no greasy hair. We smell good and the armpits are shaved <laughs> to the girls that have been on surprise dates What is the best one that you've ever been on? I want to know every single little juicy detail Leave it down below in the comments for the girls that have not been on surprise date. Just know your time will come I'm actually so excited excited because I was on the phone and I was like can you just give me some hints so I can like mentally prepare for where we're going literally all I got out of him was that it's inside and there's gonna be walking and sitting and there's gonna be a bunch of people I tried to ask him like how far we're driving, where we're going, and I couldn't get a single little detail out of him. I really hope he knows that he's making my dreams come true about going on a surprise date. Like it's happening tonight and I'm so excited. <laughs> Here's what the makeup is looking like so far. It's just the base and I actually really like it. So we're gonna move on with the next steps and we're gonna finish up our makeup. I think it's time to throw on some music. It's a surprise day. I don't know where we're going. What are you supposed to wear? Comfy cute. So I said a dress. A dress is comfy cute. And he said, no, not a dress. So I said a skirt. And he said, no, not a skirt. He said jean shorts. I said, those aren't comfy. And it's inside. That's why I know. Bowling? <laughs> no. I just finished the makeup. Here is what it looks like. Now it's time to pick out our outfit. You guys know I'm stressed when the forehead vein is popping out. Oh, I can't believe that. It's currently 4.02. It's time to pick out our outfit and I, I literally can't. You guys know how boys are. They just throw a t-shirt on and shorts and call it a day. Us girls, the outfit is like the most important part. And when you don't know where you're going, what am I supposed to wear? First thing that was said to me about the outfit is something that you'd be comfy in. Okay, when I think comfy, I think like a sweatshirt and shorts. I think sweatpants and a t-shirt. That's comfy to me. He was like, something you wouldn't mind people seeing. Then he proceeds to say jean shorts. Those are not comfy, sir. This man knows me too well, y'all. He said, if you want to bring a change of clothes if you don't like what you're wearing once we get there, I know you overthink about your outfits a lot. Don't even get me started. <laughs> he just texted me again and said, wear a plain color though, like white or black. Fuck are we going? <laughs> Y'all, I have no idea. Thankfully, most of my clothes are color coordinated, so I'm mostly just gonna look in this top section. Then down here, I have more white and black t-shirts. Oh, this could be cute. The jean shorts. Kind of casual. Fuck, I don't know. about this. Uh, ooh, this could be cute. I don't know, guys. Y'all, we got 15 minutes, so here are some things that I pulled out of my closet. We have this little white top. It's comfy casual. This, to me, is comfy casual. I did pull a pair of jean shorts, because it is low-key kind of hot outside, so these are my favorite pairs. They're from American Eagle. Then I have this white tank top. It's like the same color. Concept, but just different fonts. <laughs> then I pulled this out. The white and black neutral comment threw me off, but like, I love wearing color. You guys know me. These are from my sister's room. Don't tell her. This is our little secret between each other. Any of these tops would be really cute with the jean shorts, okay? Because I plan on wearing, I think, my platform converse. So I don't know. We're going to try this on, but we have like 10 minutes. Option number one. Here is the full fit. He said it can be colorful. It just has to be plain, which makes no sense. And now I really have no idea where we're going. But I really like this. This is so cute. Come 
comfy casual. This is so me. This thing's Ellie. So this is my number one option because this is adorable. <laughs> Bruh, guys, this is ridiculous. This is what we're going with. This white tank top. I think it's comfy, cute, casual. I feel really good. Jean shorts for American Eagle and then platform Converse because they're comfy. So this is the full and final fit. My date just texted me that he's here, so let's go! Now I'm ready. <laughs> First off, going to a Tampa Bay Rays baseball game was not on my 2024 bingo card, let alone going today. That was crazy. That I was not prepared for that whatsoever. I figured it out before we like actually got to the Tropicana field because the exit for where they were playing is exit 22 in St. Petersburg. And I take that exit all the time. And I was like, and I like, I just put two and two together and I was like, wait a second. Baseball season started going to a baseball game has been on my bucket list for the longest time so it just it just clicked and I was like no freaking way so the whole outfit scenario of him saying like you need to wear either white or black and it has to be simple and it can't be colorful makes so much more sense but he could have done a way better job but again like if he told me to wear like navy blue I would have maybe guessed it but I wasn't thinking about that like when I was getting ready so I don't know but I literally made him stop at a CVS to go in and Side and get merch. The outfit that I did end up wearing wasn't good enough. I needed merch. So I made a pit stop at CVS and I got a little t-shirt. So <laughs> it actually worked out. But honestly, it was so much fun. I had such a good time and it was really cool. The race did win. So that's exciting. And yeah, I had a great time. It was, it was really fun. And I officially can mark it off of my bucket list. Like, let me show you guys. I made a summer bucket list. Even though it's not summer, this is still on like one of my bucket lists. I have one on my phone too. It's literally right here. Baseball game. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but he definitely succeeded and I'm gonna give this date a 10 out of 10. I had literally so much fun after. We did pick. We were gonna go eat. We went to Chipotle just because it was kind of late. I think we left the game around like nine o'clock. 10. I think it was 9 so I was like there's gonna be nothing really open like restaurant sit down so I was like let's just go to Chipotle because we both like it but yeah I had so much fun and it it all worked out even though I was like freaking out and stressing I had no reason to be that was definitely a surprise he he did a really good job <laughs> I'm going to bed a happy girl tonight so I hope you all enjoyed today's video make sure you sweaty a big lens at PJ and I'll see you soon back to more videos bye guys <laughs> Oh,